point of departure on talking about this, whereby drivers have got to get permission for three hours. <laughs> but we treat them in the way we would treat anything else, like a planning application, for instance. If there are more people who want something than don't want it, we go for the majority. And I think we've seen some real benefits at the Play Street. There's been cooperation between the neighbours, between the residents. We've had contact with people that we've never really spoken to properly before. We've got to know people that we didn't even know lived on our street. We might have seen them, vaguely recognised them, but we didn't know they were actually fairly close neighbours. I really thought I would turn up to a meeting where everyone would say, isn't this a brilliant idea? Well, let's just do it. I'd say, yeah, as a council, we're, we're going to say yes. Um, it was not like that at all. Um, it was really split. There, were no, there was no one in between. It was a real mile white kind of issue. The, the council's line, Lambeth's line, was very much to step back and let people make their own decision. And in whatever decision came out of the workshop, we would then do everything that we can to, to try and um, uh, implement. Um, the thing about Bay Street is it requires agency from children. They have to make their fun, they have to engage with their children, they have to run up and down. It's quite different from the, the passivity of a lot of the leisure, leisure occupations in the 21st century. In fact, one parent said to me on my street, oh, you know, my kids will say, what is there to do? Should we be laying more stuff on? And I, I'm kind of quite slightly saddened by that because. I sort of think that kind of shows me in a way that there's something missing from our children's childhood if they, you know, if they can't just see a space and think fantastic. So anything which gets girls and boys out being active in a in a in a, a way which isn't just to do with organised sports is a real plus. You know, play streets uh, isn't going to make children uh, thinner overnight. But what it is, 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 is a part of a, 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 a broader strategy to, to, to help do that. Um, because, you know, we need to design physical activity back into young people's lives. Um, because children are denied that uh, freedom uh, to get around in their local neighbourhood, they don't get sufficient exercise. Medical officers of health and those in the public health arena uh, point out that children need at least one hour a day of vigorous uh, exercise or exercise where they're getting their heart rate up. Um, how can they do that if they're stuck at home, not allowed out? The cost to the council, so for reverse rented, or oh, well actually cap, um, cap in, it's about, it's less than £100 per street. What is the mechanism within the council to bring these people, oh, this is probably a very big question, to bring people together that are uh, opposing within the same council? to talk about things, to move it forward. Um, we, we've set up a group steering committee where we've got the children's services, we've got people from public health and our screen scene, um, because we all want to make it work, we all want to claim credit for it. Um, <laughs> snow is forecast. When the snow falls, everywhere is a place to <laughs> go home and prepare for flight. And then after that, create a proper place to <laughs> Eu